Right, joining me now, an incredible guest who has overcome more in his 29 years than anyone should ever have to. And in honor of his journey, Israel is proud to have him lighting a torch at this year's official Independence Day ceremony. Israeli wheelchair basketball para-athlete and terror victim, Asael Shabo. Asael, thank you so much for joining me. My pleasure. Good evening. So let's start from the beginning. You know, in 2002, at the height of the deadly Second Intifada, you were only nine when you survived a terrorist attack that cost you your mother, three siblings, and your right leg. How did you manage to keep on going after such a thing? Well, I have to say that it's been a very long uh, rehabilitation process, physically and mentally. So it's not like that I really overcome it. I just learned at some point to live uh, parallel to it, to understand that this is what happened to me. This is the uh, the loved ones that I lost and that this is my disability and I need to accept it and to kind of uh, make a lemonade from this lemon. And uh, just what I've been doing for my for my entire life since I understood that. And uh, But that was a, definitely a long process to understand that. So I'm, I'm sure that they're always, of course, with you in heart and spirit, but when do you feel their absence the most, at good times or bad times? Um, actually, I think in both ways, I feel them a lot. Like if I go to a European championship and we have some kind of a success or in the Israeli cup that we won and uh, then like you get to, uh, you know, to win the, the trophy and like they're, I feel like them, they are behind me and they're supporting me and in the bad moments, is like actually in the sad moments, you know, when we have the Memorial Day or the the National Memorial Day, and you go to the uh, the cemetery and you get to see their graves, and that's something that really uh, brings takes me back and really uh, gives me a shock. But uh, honestly, I think that going back and remembering them is is not a good thing. It's a positive thing. You want to remember it, where you came from. I want to remember my family. And uh, I feel like it gives me strength and energy to be better after that. Like I go to the uh, cemetery, I, uh, I get really all the emotions and all the memories from, uh, from that terrible night. But when I go out of there, I'm stronger and I want to do more and I want to be more and I want to make them prouder. So sport was a big part of your recovery process, I understand. So particularly in light of your loss, what does it mean for you to represent Israel through sports? Every time I go to a tournament uh, with the Israel on your chest and the name of Israel on your back, and that's the biggest honor for me, especially after everything I've been through. I have to say most of these tournaments, most players and most athletes don't know my story, and I'm not like going there and trying to uh, publish my story. I'm just honestly 100% proud representing my country um, and those who knows what I've been through, these are the people that I want them to know that I'm representing my country in the best way that I can. So you're currently living in uh, Ramat Gan, and last month a Palestinian gunman attacked Ramat Gan and, and Bnei Brak, killing five. What was going through your head as this was unfolding? <laughs> I have to tell you, I was, uh, I had a little bit of a panic attack and I, uh, I couldn't sleep all night on that night. I uh, there is unfortunately there is uh, enough terror attacks in in the country, all across the country, and it's always uh, heartbreaking and it's always very sad to hear about it. Um, but some terror terror attacks are really touching and really like getting into the spot of my heart. And that, for example, was definitely it. I think it was because I have a different perspective of being a father and thinking about my young, he was like two weeks old back then, and thinking about my young baby in my house that the terrorist like was not far away uh, distance wise. And like, I wanted to be able to protect my family. But so on that night I had to like, I had a lot of thoughts and I couldn't, uh, I couldn't think about anything else beside my family. And uh, that was a very uh, hard moment for me and a very sad moment. And, I would like to say I, uh, I'm sorry and my heart is with the families uh, who lost their uh, loved ones. Absolutely. All right. Now, on another note, you know, what did you feel the moment that the Minister of Culture told you that you were going to be one of the 11 torchlighters at this year's Independence Day? 
Um, so first of all, it's very exciting. I have to say I was pretty shocked since the phone call of the, the culture ministry who called me, Kheli Trooper, and he called me in the morning. I was just a, like with my baby and changing a diaper, and then I hear a call from the minister. So I, of course, I uh, make my time to answer. So I got a call. He said, we, uh, you've been chosen to light the torch in the official Independence Day ceremony in uh, Hetzel Mountain. And I was shocked and I uh, didn't know what to say. I just said, I think I just said thank you. And then I think he expected something else. But it, for me, it takes a little bit more time to understand exactly what's happening. So I was shocked for a few days. And actually, we did rehearsals le- last week. And uh, I think that was that was the first moment that I uh, that I it really sank in. And I understood that this is really happening, meeting all the people who light the torch and I started really crying and was very emotional. So I'm ex- I'm actually in that phase of excitement and uh, emotional, and uh, it's really the biggest honor that a citizen can have in Israel. And it's a big honor for me to represent my country and to represent all the terror victims in in Israel. And uh, this torch is for them, not only for me. Do you feel like a symbol, uh, you know, like a symbol of triumph? And and by extension, what does Israel and Israeli Independence Day mean to you? So first of all, it's a big proud this day in general. But uh, other than that, I have to say that it's a really a symbol of strength, a symbol of uh, uprising from the most difficult moments. And I'm not the only terror victim in, in Israel, but I've definitely uh, been through a um, very difficult terror attack. And for me, I mostly want to represent my family and I want to give Israelis strength i want to i want them to be able to understand that right. we are always stronger and yes i feel a little bit like a symbol of strength and i'm trying to represent it like that and uh, i definitely uh, this is the symbol that i want to represent to all the israelis uh, asael thank you so much it was a great pleasure to speak with you and congratulations again on your nomination and on becoming a new father Thank you very much. It's a big honor. It's the best year of my life, and uh, I'm looking forward to see where is it going to head. ILTV Plus, your news from Israel and more 24-7. Start your free trial today. Subscribe at ILTV.TV and watch from any device.